Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Did she stick her finger in the power socket? Strangers asked. They were being ignorant, insensitive. Little girl embraces fuzzy hair caused by uncontrollable hair syndrome. I look like a lion with a crazy mane. When baby girl Shyla was born, her parents were so excited to add a little girl to the family. She had soft brown hair just like her older brother. But after a while, it began to fall out and was replaced with blonde locks. When Shyla was three to six months old, her parents noticed that her hair was growing up instead of down. It was also very soft and fragile. Sadly, her parents got all kinds of comments when they were out from rude passers-by, who asked them, what's wrong with her hair? Her mom, Celeste Calvert-Yin, said, it was hurtful and sometimes quite rude, and I'm sure they were just being ignorant and insensitive. Then there were people who were complete strangers that would peer into her stroller, stare at her, and make comments about her everywhere we went. Looks like she stuck her finger in the power socket, was a frequent comment. She told Love What Matters. The little girl and her parents were subjected to all kinds of crude and insensitive comments, even strangers touching their child's hair. But their response ensured their little girl, Shyla, grew into a confident youngster who appreciated her hair for its unique beauty. She'd make sweet remarks like, just call me fuzzy. Some days I look like a lion with a crazy mane, her mom said. At childcare, Shyla would tell other kids that she was magical and special, and they were just normal and boring. But her parents had no understanding of why their daughter's hair grew this way. When Shy first watched Disney's Frozen, she was really upset that her hair did not look like Elsa's, and she couldn't wear her hair in a long braid. I remember quickly telling her that her hair was more like Rapunzel, as it was truly magical. It was from that day that we taught Shy to love her uniqueness and never worry about what others say to her. Building her self-esteem and her confidence was a big deal in our house. Her brother would often be her support when she needed it, and when kids gave her a hard time. Starting school was scary for us as parents. How is the schoolyard going to receive her? What are they going to say to her? Is she going to make any friends? All of which were quickly answered. She was extremely popular with all the kids from prep to grade six. Shy was quite the little celebrity, and she lapped up all the attention. We just assumed it was a gene from our family history, and that was just that. So we told people that perhaps it was a throwback to one of our family histories and people were okay with this explanation. Or I just said she was blessed with her hair and born to be noticed. That was easier for kids to understand. They also came to embrace the comments of others and see the lighter side of them. I remember one day a stranger likened her to Doc Brown from Back to the Future as she was wearing a lab coat. Your daughter looks just like Doc Brown, the guy in the movie, the crazy scientist guy. Others often said she had hair like Albert Einstein. They were spot on, and it did become a bit of an in-house giggle for us, Celeste told Love What Matters. After several hairdressers touching and playing with her hair, one of the ladies suggests she go to an African salon as they would be better experienced with hair like Shy's. So from that day forth, that's where we go when Shy would like her hair braided or styled. Although her hair is nothing like African hair, the ladies love playing with it and styling it in the most creative cornrows for her every now and then. Shy's hair is not coarse, it's super soft and fluffy. It doesn't really get oily, it doesn't need oils or leave-in conditioners, it's just very clean, natural products that are not harsh and seriously good detangler. Till this day, Shy has only had one and a half haircuts, one to fix the half she had already given herself. It just doesn't go past her current length. People often said we should take her to a doctor and find out why her hair looked like that. But to us, there was no reason, as there was nothing wrong with her. It was just her hair. It was just our Shyla. However, it came a day when Shy was in the hospital for her teeth, and the doctor who was caring for her asked us a telling question. Are you aware of uncombable hair syndrome? I'd never heard of it before this and was a little confused. The doctor explained that UHS was caused by a gene mutation and it involves silvery blonde or straw-colored hair that stands up from the scalp and can't be combed. The doctor had researched UHS, 
but have never met a child with the condition. I was shocked. Teary and excited all at the same time. Finally a possible answer to all those years of questions. The doctor was just as excited. People often told the family they should take her to the doctor, but they saw no need until she was in the hospital for her teeth and a doctor asked her if she was aware of uncontrollable hair syndrome, or UHS. The doctor explained that UHS was caused by a gene mutation and it involves silvery blonde or straw-colored hair that stands up from the scalp and can't be combed flat. The doctor had researched UHS but had never met a child with the condition. I was shocked, teary and excited all at the same time. Finally, a possible answer to all those years of questions. The doctor was just as excited. Other than her teeth having weakened enamel, she's perfectly healthy. Her condition means her hair grows differently because it's missing a protein. After her parents were told her condition, they wanted to share it with others to help others around the world. Shy loves to be the center of attention and taking a selfie, so we decided to give modeling a try. But companies were too worried about her uniqueness and taking away from their brand so it didn't work out. She's just gorgeous, but her look is very unique, and the brand may not be able to be memorable for the product. We then decided to put a little more time and effort into an Instagram page, at Shyla Madison, so that Shyla, when she's old enough, can take ownership of. Through Instagram, we've reached people all over the world and have made a serious differences in other families who are searching for answers, just like we had. People are constantly reaching out for advice and sending photos of their kids in the hope that they too may have found the answer. This is truly humbling. We've connected with kids and adults just like Shy who have or were going through the same thing she was. They look up to her as her positive attitude about being different and special and how she, as a little girl, takes on the world around her. It's a powerful tool and has meant the world to us to show Shyla the support that's out there and to make a difference for someone else with uncontrollable hair syndrome. There's nothing wrong with being different. If other people stare, it's because they're jealous. Shyla encourages the others. Through her Instagram page, they've reached over 15,000 people around the world. People are constantly reaching out for advice and sending photos of their kids in the hope that they too may have found the answer. This is truly humbling, her mom said. Comments have been both supportive and ugly at times, but it's an amazing platform to connect with those who want to support her or somewhere they can say to their little one, look, you're not alone. You're not the only one and look how this little girl rocks it. Shyla chooses her pictures and what she wishes to share with others. She often writes back to people who reach out to her and loves to respond to all the attention it's given her. Shy's made a couple of pen pals and often receives letters in the mail and postcards from around the world saying thank you. As a family, we wouldn't change her for the world. We see big things in her future. She has the spunk, the sass, and the personality to make a difference. I would be fibbing if I said it's been easy for her, but if anyone could own the way they look and deal with the comments and stares, she certainly has. Shyla, now 10 years old, even encourages other kids to love what makes them different. There's nothing wrong with being different. If other people stare, it's because they're jealous, Shyla said. Her mom says her daughter is a daily inspiration. I think Shyla's blonde locks are beautiful. She's an inspiration to so many around the world by bravely sharing her journey and putting herself out there. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.